What's the most famous name in fashion? Why Vogue, of course. There is just one other name that every fashionista knows and loves. The Minions. Well, they pretty much take control of everything. They're the one that helps. They're the one that tells me what to do. When they say yes, I know that the fashion world will say yes. 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 God, yes. Well, fashion loves nothing more than a bad boy, and I do think these guys are probably the baddest of them all. Sometimes I work with one or two, and people always talk about the solitary muse, but actually, I love the group. I mean, it's Kevin, Bob, and Stuart, you know, they are so divine. I, I don't know, but I think I prefer Stuart someday, I like Bob others, but most of the time I like to have lunch with Kevin. Is it true that the minions are the inspiration behind your whole fashion collection? Well, the truth is out, yes. I mean, I've been working to, to conceal the fact for some time, but their minion yellow hands have been all over my empire. I think it's fairly well documented now that uh, by seeing that, that iconic performance of David Bowie and the minions from Mars was the reason that I knew I was going to pursue a creative career. There is a leader part of minion yes. from him and me. Yes, it's true. I have absolutely no talent myself. It has all been by the minions. Of course, I like to take credit, but I have to say, this is a big confession, they help me in every way. Can you describe to me the essence of the minions in just two words? Fabulous, wonderful. Lowbrow. Fantastically mischievous. Can I use five? No. Can you talk a bit about how the minions have influenced you? Well, they generally break into my studio at night time. Quite often they're the inspiration. And they scribble all over everywhere, steal all my sharpies. And then I normally do their portraits and do some sketches. And then I put them in different situations. How would they be in the south of France? How would they be, you know, going to the moon? How would they be in the 14th century, you know, in a joust? Tell me about yellow. Is it your favorite color just because it's the minion's color? The power of the yellow is something that we can't can't deny. I'm pretty terrified of the minions yellow. It's a positivity. Positive color. The censors, I hate yellow, but they made me love yellow. Was there a big language barrier with the minions? Well, um, I mean, they have their own unique and direct way in communicating, but uh, so, sorry, excuse me, Susie. Hello? Bye. Yes. Bye. Uh, sorry, Bob? Yeah. Is that Bob? It's another language, you know, we're not using the, the one of those common languages. And I've had to deal with um, with a language barrier my whole life, my whole career. We just sort of um, make no sense together. I've got um, uh, We communicate through fashion. We take a really good lesson by DVD and headphone <laughs> during the night. <laughs> I've got to I'll call you, Kevin, I'll call you back. You know, it feels so awkward because it's like such a secret that they thought it was just mine and now you're like interviewing me about all these things and, and I'm, I'm just upset that everybody knows that I have those minions helping me and, and, and doing everything here at Lanvin. You know, I'm a little bit itchy about the whole thing. I mean, here is like the yellow markers. I mean, I just found out that the Vogue is doing an issue. We're delighted to have minions on our cover. I mean, it's been years in the planning, trying to get everybody's diaries right. But I think this cover is gonna be our best selling cover ever, probably even beat the Millennium issue. So I ask myself, has there ever been a bigger influence on fashion than the Minions? No, never. No, absolutely not. No. No, no. No, no, no. No, no, I don't think so, Susie, no. No. Actually, maybe, Susie, but no, no. And there you have it. I guess that answers my question. This is my minions. <laughs> it's very look like him. It's my minions. Look. Big <laughs> shit.